If you want to find out how to transform a wooden chest of drawers into a more modern piece of furniture with a coat of paint, then stay tuned. This video is for you. Hi everyone, it's Brenda. Welcome to Phoenix Furniture Studio. For today's video, we're going to be giving this mirror and this chest of drawers a makeover for my client. I'll link the video here. I explain how I clean this and I'm going to use that video as my point of reference to go back to on how I clean my furniture because it's pretty much the same whatever the piece of furniture. So it's already had its hardware taken off. It's had a good clean and the next step is going to be to give it a scuff sand. I'm going to be using my Pioneer Work Sander, which is a relatively cheap sand off Amazon that I'm loving. It's the same sort of size as the surf prep sander. So although I've never used a surf prep sander, I feel like this is a great dupe for people who can't get their hands on one, like all of us in the UK. So I'm going to go over this with 120 grit sandpaper, give it a good scuff sand, wipe it all down, and then I'll come back to you before we start priming. I'm going to be using the Zinza Bin Aqua Primer, which is meant to be uh, their sort of best water-based stain blocking primer. Normally, if I'm worried about stains, I'll use the cover stain, which is oil-based, but I want to spray it. So I'm just going to go with the Bin Primer. This was just a cheap uh, colander set that I got from like the bargain store but actually it's the perfect size for straining. I don't know if you can see that, but that's why you strain your paint. If you can see all those bits that have been caught in that strainer, that would block your spray gun if you let it go through. I'm not going to add any water to that because that's thin enough to go through my sprayer. I kept thinking that doesn't look right and that's why because I have forgotten to put that on. <laughs> you know when you look at something you think no, that, that's not right. There's something not right about that. <laughs> uh, that's better.
primer's dried now. It's a bit textured, so it does need sanding, but there is bleed through. So I don't know if you can see it, these yellow, yellowy splotches. That's where the tannins from the wood grain has come through the primer. This is meant to be a stain blocking primer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over it with another coat of primer. And if I'm still getting bleed through after that, then I'm gonna need to use the Zinza Cover Stain, which is oil-based, and that is one and done stain blocking primer. It's my all-time favorite stain blocking primer. But you can see there's all spots where it's come through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over this quickly with the sander and just use 320 grit sandpaper just to scuff sand it, smooth out any of those little textured bits. And then we're gonna take it back into the spray booth and give it another coat of primer. And I am concerned about bleed through on this piece because I am gonna be painting it an off-white color, so it needs to be absolutely sealed. No chance of bleed through coming through into that final paint layer. The shade that my client's chosen for her drawers and mirror is this Frenchic shade, um, which is virgin, which is a slightly, slightly off-white color. So I'm just gonna get this into my sprayer and we're gonna get the first coat on the drawers and the mirror. That's not running smoothly off this. Oh, there we go. Still a little bit more water, I think. You want it to run as sort of a continuous stream of paint when you lift it off. That's better. Okay, I'm happy with that. So what you see me doing here is I'm using a roller to go over where I've just sprayed with the paint sprayer. I can see that it's gone on too thick and I think what's happened because I'm spraying white on white, I've not been able to see amount, the amount of paint that's been laid on with the sprayer. 
and now I can see that it's it's far too much so I've just gone in quickly with the uh, microfiber roller and just even it all out and remove the excess pain so don't panic if you use a pain spray and you think oh my god there's too much on here it's a disaster just quickly take a, a paint roller and generally you can fix most areas so I've gone over it all with the paint roller I'm really happy with how it's laid now so now I'll just let this coat dry and then we'll sand with 320 grit and go in with the second coat I want to paint in my dovetail edges I think it adds a nice detail so I'm just gonna go down and I'm going to sand all of these edges just with a 320 grit just to clean them up and then what I'll do is I'll take some tape tape them off cut in the dovetail design and then just go over it with the paint roller and that'll be a nice clean dovetail finish the paint has had time to uh, dry fully now. We're at a point where we're ready to apply the varnish. I'm just using the Ron Seal uh, is it interior varnish, diamond hard, satin clear. I'm gonna use my Wagner W890 sprayer to apply it because I find that gives the nicest, smoothest finish for top coat. So, I'm gonna apply two to three coats because it's a light color. I want it to be quite well protected against any knocks. You'll see them more on a pale color. So I want there to be a really good barrier over the paint. So let's get started with that. Hopefully you could see there when I was spraying, I was overlapping by half. So as I spray, I go across, down, overlap by half, across, down, overlap by half. And what that does is it just makes sure you get a nice solid even coverage all the way down as you're spraying, whether that's paint or top coat. It just makes sure that, as I say, you get a really nice even finish from top to bottom.